All right, we saw the rankings when you did, so we've had some time to digest them. Alabama's the highest ranked one loss team in the initial ranking. Cincinnati sets a new high water mark for teams outside the Power Five, breaking their own record by one spot at number six. And the SEC and the Big Ten have more than half of the 25 teams ranked by the College Football Playoff Selection Committee. Pleased to be joined by our buddy Chris Felica. So, Bear, Alabama number two surprised me. What do you think? It surprised me, but it, honestly, if I were ranking my teams, I'd have them second as well. There are two teams in the country that are in the top 10 in both offensive efficiency and defensive efficiency. They are Georgia and Alabama. Uh, Alabama's strength of schedule number is much higher than, than, say, Oklahoma or Cincinnati or anybody else. I've got no problem with it. And again, it doesn't matter. Don't overreact to this. I actually like it that they're two. Don't have them down at seven because regardless of whether they went out from seven or two, they're in. And now if they lose, they're out. I, look, there have been a couple of two-loss teams that have deserved to be in. Georgia in 2018. Stanford deserved to be in as a two-loss team. Uh, Penn State deserved to be in a two-loss team. No two-loss team has made it. Alabama wins out, they're in. They lose to Georgia and Atlanta or before Atlanta, they're out. Couldn't make, couldn't make the drive over, huh? <laughs> no, five, I, I had a five miles, right seven miles. So couldn't make able, the, could, you, I yeah, I wasn't, oh, wasn't okay. able to get over between okay. the end of daily wager and tonight. <laughs> I'll just mess with you. Bear, Cincinnati Bearcats down at six. The group of five fans out there are already fired up. What do you, what was your thoughts when you saw Cincinnati at six? I wasn't surprised based on where their schedule rank is, but all is not lost for Cincinnati. Michigan State and Ohio State are going to play. Someone's going to lose that game. If Georgia loses, if Alabama loses to Georgia, they're out. Oregon still has probably two games with Utah and two rivalry games with Washington and Oregon State. If Cincinnati wins out, I still think they're in a really good position here. The fact that they know Alabama is in front of them already, that's not, they know that they're not going to come flying by them. So it looks bad for Cincinnati, but still, this is the highest the group of five team has been. Uh, in the initial ranking, so glass half empty, half full. I'm, I'm choosing to take the uh, the half full approach here. Bear, clearly you're not surprised by anything. You're not surprised by Bama being number two. You're not surprised by Cincinnati being number six. I mean, you came on here to say, you know what? I agree with the committee. Bear, let me ask you: Is there somewhere the anywhere does in a this great job. where you're surprised? What do you got? Um. I'm a little surprised that the committee did put Oregon ahead of Ohio State, but but what, I should say that I was surprised uh, in retrospect. But once I saw the head-to-head -head really matter as we went along, it, it didn't surprise me. I, I guess Oklahoma down as low as they as low as they have the Sooners, uh, an undefeated team in the Big 12 behind some of those other teams like Michigan with one loss. That I would say kind of surprised me because I think you're going to need to view as the season goes on Oklahoma as before Caleb Williams and after Caleb Williams, because clearly there are two different offenses, and the team they are now was a team that was in the top four to start the year in the polls. Do, do you notice what he did, Joey? He said he was surprised and said he wasn't. Yeah, it said he said <laughs> no, I came the right fake back. Surprise, like, surprise. Committee. surprise. I agree once again. <laughs> right, I fake surprise. Uh, Bear, let's give some hope, let's give some optimism, because I'm trying to figure out right now how far we need to go down the rankings for teams that might have a chance. To where I kind of am landing here, I don't think Notre Dame has a chance this year. But I'm landing at no. Auburn at 13 right now. I think everyone ranked in the top 13, excluding Notre Dame, has a legitimate shot to make it. Is that where you draw the line as well? I don't think so. I, I, again, you're, you're looking at a, a two-loss conference champion. I mean, maybe it will happen. Penn State should have been a two-loss conference champion that should have been in the playoff a couple of years ago, yet they weren't. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I think that's a little far to go. Because I still think you have Cincinnati who's going to win out. Uh, I still think you're going to get you'll get another Big Ten team. You'll get I, I don't I don't I don't see Auburn at uh, at 11 and two uh, making it. That, that would be a great debate uh, if they do get there. But um, obviously that would include a win Bear. over Alabama, Bear. a win over Georgia. We got, so we got, maybe we got, we got we got 15 seconds here, Bear. Let's just say hypothetical. Okay. Georgia wins okay. out. Bama's gone. The Big mm -hmm. Ten. One of these Big mm -hmm. Ten schools makes a run. And, and is a Big Ten champion. Oregon were to win Ohio out. State. Let's say Ohio Cincinnati State. Cincinnati were to Oregon win out. Team. And Oklahoma mm -hmm. were to win out. Who's in? I think Cincinnati will be would four. Who would be in? I think Cincinnati would be four. I think you'd have Georgia. Who would be two and three? 
So you said so you said you said, right. or, you said Ohio Ohio State's in. Ohio State would be Oregon would be two. Ohio State would be three, and, uh, and Cincinnati would be four. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.